Hello everyone, and welcome to my first official Scorched Earth Arc playthrough. So in this series, we are going to be sticking to as close to official settings as possible. The only real thing that I've modified here is just going to be a little bit of harvesting at 1.5 for health and speed, just because I don't want to spend all day picking the berries. And uh, yeah, so quickly we look around, make sure there's nothing that wants to eat us, no hungry predators looking for a survivor snack. Survivor Scooby Snack, I think that's probably what they call us. Alright, so we are going to be picking a bunch of cactuses. Immediately, there is no time to wait around on Scorched Earth. You need to pick, punch, and run. Basically, you just need to constantly stay busy. Uh, and part of that is actually due to your hydration. So, you constantly want to be finding cactuses on the ground or ones that you can either punch on a tree or, you know, hit with your pickaxe or your axe. And the reason for that is you're staying productive and you're constantly weaving the harvesting of those cactuses in between everything else that you're doing. You actually will no longer need to worry about water nearly as often because when you harvest them, uh, when you harvest cactus sap, regardless of the source, that cactus sap will actually replenish your water source. And then on top of that, Cactus sap has a dual purpose. We'll replenish it when you harvest it, and then you can actually go into your inventory and, and eat it as well, and it will replenish both your food and some of your water. So cactus sap is an essential resource that you're going to want to basically focus on immediately early on. So yeah, we're going to go through and harvest up a bunch of this stuff and hope that nothing tries to attack us or kill us. And uh, yeah, we're going to figure out where we want to go, where we want to set up base, and hopefully not die to heat. I have no idea how we spawned in, and we are not immediately overheating because we are butt naked and just our loincloth here. Uh, so quickly, we do need to get some clothes. Let's put some points into Fortitude because that's going to be a huge necessity. And then, uh, you know, if we've only looked at the new skins yet, we'll have to take those a little bit later. But for now, let's just unlock some points so we can make some clothes. Pants and a shirt. We're going to make the shirt first, I guess. We're going to run around... Uh, and our birthday suits on the bottom and just looking kind of big chested on the top. All right. Got to protect those pecs. Um, we're going to throw the stim berries out on the bottom. Now, stim berries, um, that could be pros and cons here on Scorched Earth. So if we're getting chased by a raptor or something and we're low on stam, that'll definitely help us evade. But the moment you eat a stim berry, it's actually going to dehydrate you even more. So you definitely need to be a situational item. Um, and, you know, you don't want to immediately make yourself dehydrated because if you do that then you also could be putting yourself in a bad situation uh, because then you'll be losing health too so you don't ever want to end up in that situation we're going to go through and smash this rock now I, like I said the harvesting settings are set to 1.5 health and 1.5 speed so I'm hoping that they offset each other and I seem to be getting I think relatively decent numbers nothing too crazy overpowered and yet at the same time not standing here forever and just trying to farm the same rock and getting next to nothing so I think this is a good halfway medium um also at one point will probably adjust these settings for breeding uh, i have not done that yet but i think a couple episodes and i'll probably mess with that i probably should do it sooner rather than later just in case i find a baby because i don't want to spend literally forever raising some random parasaur or lystro uh yeah but um so th yeah that's really really good and then the only other setting that i have messed with is my weight i don't know why let me tell you when it comes to survival games if there's just one pet peeve i have i want to be able to stick everything in my butt pocket and hope that it all fits and not have to worry about it which i know defeats the purpose of realistic gameplay but uh yeah so usually you get 10 weight for each extra level i have just changed it to give me 20 weight so essentially just one extra points worth of weight um you know, a lot of the time in the beginning of the game, typically you will prioritize your weight and your stem early on so you can travel farther since it's a carry more. Here on Scorched, of course, though, you also have to balance out that fortitude. So I think we're mainly going to be focusing on weight and fortitude uh, in this playthrough, at least for the first couple of uh, levels, until we can unlock some good stuff at level 9 like the boomerang uh, and the bola, because then we'll really be in a good place. So we need to get some wood, you know, try and craft up some structures here and hope that... Um, we could find somewhere safe. The only bad thing I've seen is those raptors. So I think we're going to just get out of here because everything else seems to be pretty nice. And if that Marlotops ends up killing them, I think this will be a good place to kind of just uh, get an early start. Because somehow, again, still, I am not sweating balls yet. So I am not sure what uh, what's happening here. Scorched Earth is playing nice because I've definitely had some overheat problems in the past. Uh, even when my stats were boosted and I played on... Uh, Ark Survival Evolved, it was always hot all the time. So, 
I don't know. Maybe the sire is just built different, but um, yeah, we're getting real lucky with that. So, all right, let's farm up this tree here. We're going to go through and make this barren wasteland even more barren. And, uh, oh, we can make ourselves a spear. Let's, uh, yeah, let's make a spear here real quick. And then uh, we only need a few more levels. So we're actually doing pretty, pretty good. Um, let's see here. We'll just grab some more berries and bushes because it doesn't hurt to get fiber early. Fiber really is a struggle early on. That's why I love playing on the island because if you found a nice little moss chops early on, you were set. But, uh, yeah, here on Scorch, there is not a moss chops that I'm aware of. Maybe there is. I don't know. That's actually a really good question. So I'm curious then who would be your early fiber gatherer because uh, your hands are not good. No, they are not. So let's uh, hopefully we can get a sickle here soon. I mean, that's obviously way later. Um, or we can find something because I hate picking fiber. It is not fun. Ooh, let's grab uh, this little bug by his butt and get something nice. Come here, little buddy. Oh, my God. I'm picking up rocks and say, ah, yes. I found the sweet spot. And uh, there he goes. I don't think he appreciated being touched like that. And uh, let's see. We got ourselves another spear. Oh, and uh, let's see. Um, oh, it should automatically go to my hot bar. Yes, it does. Cool. So now we have two of them there, which is nice. And I think we are super overburdened here. So let's toss out all these extra berries. And uh, let's eat our cactus sap. As you can see here, when you eat it, like I mentioned earlier, it does replenish both your health and your water. So it is just a truly... Vital resource, probably more important than any berry early on. Obviously, majos are great for taming, and you'll want to keep your narcos uh, when you can eventually end up making your trank arrows later on. I think it's level 21 when you get the trank arrow. I could be wrong, but just after you hit level 20, um, so still quite a ways off as we are in the early game. And I really have no idea where any of the explorer notes are on this map. I do know with the new structures um, being redone and added... As I had noticed when I had done some of my previous uh, videos and tutorials, that um, they could be a little easier to find when I look for something large like that. But yeah, if there's anyone just laying around in the wilderness, I probably am not going to find it unless I go on like an explorer note run. So we probably should do that at some point. Um, we don't need the stone, so we're going to throw that out for now. Um, we're probably definitely going to need it later, but for now I just want to be able to harvest up a couple of levels and really focus on just trying to find a place to kind of lay low for now. Uh, because I feel like without this heat, you know, it's, it's coming. Whenever things are going well, you should just expect that something bad is going to happen. You should always be prepared. That is a really nice looking Morello Tops. Wow, that guy's nice. I like that. And we got ourselves a good chunk of fiber here. And you know what? I think we're finally going to put something on to cover up that little butt. Because, uh, man, it's getting nippy over here. All right, so got that on. Scorched Earth is letting me down when it comes to being too hot to handle. And uh, I'll throw all these extra berries out. Perfect. Right on, right on. And we got a more tree smash in because we just need all the thatch in the world. We're going to want to build ourselves a nice little thatch hut. That way we can stay out of this, uh, you know, the desert heat, wherever that heat may be. And we'll unlock a sleeping bag because we're definitely going to need that. And there is our first foundation. Foundations are also great to spam early if you do need some uh, extra experience. Uh, obviously, lugging around a bunch of those is not super, super ideal, but that's all right. Let's see if we can take this guy. What level is he? He is level 25. All right. 25 and under is actually pretty manageable. So usually what I try to do is I go for the headshot, and I sometimes will go for second headshot throwing. I usually just melee, so that was kind of dumb of me. But here's a great tip, too. When you're doing these parasaurs, you should jump and try and throw them like that because if you're not jumping, what will typically happen is your spear will fall short. But if you jump and you gain the height, basically you're making up for the distance as you guys are running. And as you saw, you know, there's a pretty um, clean kill and it usually works pretty great as long as there's no predators nearby and as long as they don't do some crazy weaving back and forth. And, of course, you do need to have stam to be able to jump if you don't or you're overburdened then you're kind of SOL. But yeah, that was a nice little uh, early kill, but nothing too bad, nothing too dangerous. So I'm glad we're able to kill the parasol early. Uh, we're definitely going to need that hide and that meat later on for both some food, uh, as well as just being able to start working on crafting up some uh, narcotics for the trank arrows or knocking any creatures out. All right, let's see here. What do we unlock? Oh, walls on the ceiling. Maybe we should grab a box or should we grab a door? Let's do a door. Okay, perfect. So we have the full essential pack to be able to make a house. 
I think now we just need to find a prime location to do it. And, um, you know, we, actually, we don't have a ramp. Maybe we should consider a ramp at some point. But, uh, you know, we only have two spears. I think smacking a couple more things as we do that should be a good idea. Because, uh, oh, look, there's a nice little water wheel there. Okay, we'll have to come back to that at some point. That's nice. But, yeah, I think being able to have more materials for spears would be really, really good. Because, um, you know, you, th there's a chance they break when you use them. And we definitely don't want them to break if we're in the middle of a fight or we need them to survive. And uh, it looks like that Morel tops over there. He might be stuck. Should we throw this down here? I mean, it's right next to the water wheel. That'd be a you know a solid idea. I did see those raptors earlier, though, so that'd be kind of scary if I step on my front porch and they're there. I don't feel like we need this down quite yet because we don't have enough levels or even experience to make Adobe yet. So I think for now, we're just going to laugh at this guy because he got stuck. He got too much junk up in that trunk. Maybe if uh, he wasn't such a thirsty, thirsty animal, he uh, he wouldn't get stuck. If only you let me drink from you when you weren't tamed, sir. Just give out and quench my thirst, please. Ooh, another little critter. We can grab him in the butt, too. Oh, my gosh, these things, they are elusive. They do not like being grabbed. All right. I feel like that would just be a terrible talk. And Russia probably should not meme that. Grab him and run. There we go. That was perfect. Okay. Let's look at this guy. What is this, Morello Tops? It's kind of basic looking, not super colorful like the other one. Oh my gosh, I cannot see his level for the life of me. This angle and the sliding is not my best friend. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, there it is. It's uh, oh, level 15, okay. And there's a little Lystra too. I've never tried to kill a Morella Tops early, but I wonder if I could. I mean, I know they're fast and they're big, but it can't be worse than like a trike, right? Trikes are big. And they can be fast, but, you know, at the same time, you just got to kind of lead them. And then you can only really even damage them on their feet, too. So it might be worth trying to kill this guy. Or it might not be. I could completely regret it. But, um, yeah, maybe we should try to do that. All right, let's prepare some extra spears uh, just to be able to take this guy down. Because I have a strong feeling two is not going to be enough. Well, wait a minute. Am I overburdened? Because that could be an issue. Let's throw these down here. That way we can just get rid of those. That'll be a little bit less weight. You know what? Why don't we set these up and we can use this as like a barricade. So hopefully we can just run circles around this guy. And, um, you know, maybe we can take him down because he, there's a possibility he might just attack our structure and not me. As I've seen, they've had an issue with structures. Let's see how this goes. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. All right. There we go. This is working. Oh, he is getting real close. Okay, buddy. Play nice. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. Oh. Okay. Um. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Okay. Well, the next time you guys see a Morello Tops, even if he's a low level, just know that if you build yourself a little foundation, two walls, thinking that it's going to be a great idea. Oh, my God. There's raptors. I literally go from one bad situation to another. Okay, but uh, yeah, if you see Merle Tops, think you can kill literally with some spears. Unless you're just some godsend survivor, I highly do not recommend it. Well, that was real dumb. I'm literally like 300 meters away from my body. I'm going to spend like all my stam to get back there. And who knows if I'm going to be even like able to get there. If I see any more raptors or anything bad along the way, if I'm already out of stam and my water is depleting quite quickly. Let's, uh, well, if, so while we're waiting here, we can just pick up some of these little cactuses. That way our stam can recover, and then we're also keeping that water level um, somewhat manageable. I think that'll definitely help us get there. Um, you, you know, just because when you're out of stam, if you stand still, you still have the ability to harvest. So if you can at least stand idle while your stam recovers in a spot where you can harvest water or even anything else to uh, stay productive, that's definitely a solid thing to do. And there's my very sad, miserable body. Yep, he looks pretty beat up. I literally got flattened like a pancake and thrown all the way across over here. And, uh, yeah, just look away. We're going we're gonna to go cannibal. We're going to eat some of that meat uh, probably for dinner. We're going to have survivor steak. No Scooby snacks for the raptors, but, uh, yeah, we're I guess we're eating nice, I think. Even though I look in pretty bad shape. All right. Uh, wait, can you not smack these things? Oh, I guess not. You got to pick them. That's very odd. Can you imagine sticking your hand in there and grabbing those things? That looks immensely painful. No, thank you. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, my water level went up quite a bit by consuming those things, which is great. Let's just break this thing that's already damaged. That way we can at least get some of our resources back. Ooh, a little buddy. Oh, yep. <laughs> you thought I was here to pet you. Nope, you're going to be my friend whether you like it or not. Why is he running? What? Okay, the first creature I get attacked other than a Morotops as a little Jerboa. Look at this little lemur looking guy trying to kill me. This thing sticking out his forehead looks... Huh? When you kill them with the spear, does it like attach to them? Like you actually speared it? Is that a thing? Has that always been a thing? With like little creatures? I do not reckon it. I mean, usually I throw the spears, but uh, I don't know if I've ever seen that happen. That was kind of cool. And also really terrifying. But uh, yeah, all that killing made me thirsty. So let's uh, fix that up here real quick. And make sure there's nothing trying to eat me or my soon-to-be new little buddy. And there's another Parasaur. Is he killing possible? He's level 20. I think this is possible. Let's see if we can do the same thing I mentioned earlier. So basically throw the first one. And then usually you can get a couple melees in. Yep, there you go. And then if you get melees as long as possible. And then throw it if you can. Yep, with the jump. And see, you get another connector there on the tail. And I think he's going to run into this rock. So he might be able just to finish off with a melee here. We probably won't have to do the throw there we go yeah so throws do more damage but there's more likely of a chance that they break so it's nice to be able to use the melee uh where possible but uh yeah that was really really good and we got a second parasaur down that is awesome uh but even though the throws are more likely to break if you kill the creature before you harvest them if you walk over the spear there's a chance if it's still sticking out of them um, that you'll recover it. Usually you'll be able to pick them back up and reuse them, which is great. So I think the chance is like 5% to break when you're mailing, and I think it's 8% to break when you're throwing it. So definitely want to save those when you can, because in order to craft them, I think it's like 10 wood, and 10 wood's pretty costly early on. Ooh, what are these things fighting? Is that my... No, I already killed my body. Ooh, our little buddy. Hi, friend. Let's go. All right. Let's go on a new adventure. Let's take a look at them. Okay, okay. And we are literally just... Uh, Gonna grab this bug here. Nope, you know what? Never mind, never mind. There was raptors there. Let's not do that. Let's uh, head on over here and get far as we, as we can from those raptors because I'm not trying to die again from something dumb because uh, I feel real dumb about that Merle Tops thing. That was, uh, yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> I was being brave after getting that first Parasaur kill. I felt pretty good and uh, my confidence got the best of me. Well, we are quite low on water. So the pick seems to be giving me a lot of thatch and very little cactus. Does the axe give you more cactus? Oh, of course it broke. Oh, look at that. I am reaming in the cactuses. I am getting all the water. Okay. So if you're thirsty and uh, you need some water, use the axe to break down the cactuses and you'll definitely get a lot more. All right. Yeah, we got rid of that annoying icon. Thank goodness. And uh, there's this hefty tree too. This thing looks scary looking. And we're pretty tired. Yeah, I'm going to try to break it. Okay. Whew. Let's see. What do we want to do? I think it's time we officially try and set up an actual base since we were dumb and basically destroyed our other base earlier. And that wasn't such a smart idea. Sorry on that last little bit. It was a little quiet. I had to yawn there for a minute and back away from the mic. But uh, yeah. So let's see what it is that we're going to do. Let's see. Now, where do we want to set up our base? You know, there was that water vein earlier, but those raptors kind of invaded this space. So I think we're probably going to go somewhere else for now because I'm still not level 9 and I don't have the bola or the boomerang. Otherwise, I'd try and make one of them, uh, you know, work for me and make them be my little rider. But uh, yeah, no. Let's see if we can kill this parasaur. Go for round three for three, maybe? Hopefully. Oh, he's stuck on a tree. This guy is so dead. Come here, little dude. And done so. Right on. That's a great start. We got ourselves our Jaboa. We managed to kill three of three things. Oh, you know what? I lied. Three of three Parasaurs. The uh, Morelotops definitely got the best of us. So not making that mistake. Stick to the Jaboas. Stick to the Parasaurs. And leave Morelotops the hell alone. Because those guys got some fat-ass feet. And uh, they're going to flatten you. All right. So let's see here. There's a whole lot of flat land. I do see the obelisk, which is really, really far away. I didn't realize how far. I'm like smack in the middle of everything. Okay. 
Well, which wasn't a terrible thing, but, uh, yeah. That is, um, there's a bug right there. Oh, my little buddy, you see that? He's, uh, he's making some weird sounds, and he's wagging his tail. Now, I know they're Jaboas, um, I know they make sounds, and they'll tell you when something's happening. And I even remember doing a guide, and I even told you what each sound was. But in this moment, I honestly don't remember what that means. I just know something bad's happened, and he's telling me that I need to hurry up. So, I have no idea what this is. I'm going to feel so dumb when it happens, because I literally made not one, but two different guides talking about that the fact that these guys do stuff. And I can't seem to remember right now. Well, that's a big brain fart. All right. All I know is shit's going to happen, and we got to go hide. So, let's uh, get some water. We definitely need some of that, and figure out where we want to go. That's a nice little uh, plateau area up there. Can we get up there? Let's see. Okay. And um, do the little weaving through here. And um, let's see. Is there a way to get up? Is there a way to get up? I don't know. I don't... Um, maybe if we go around. Let's see. Let's go around and hope we can get up there. I just don't want to go down because those raptors that we saw earlier. That would that'd be a bad idea. Oh, this looks promising. I can think. I think we can parkour this. Oh, yeah, we're good. We just ran straight up it. Cool. Yeah, I think this would be a great place to set up shop, especially because something's coming. And if it's a sandstorm, that's real bad. If it's an electrical storm, that's not nearly as bad. It just means it's kind of hard to see. Um, I do know that certain um, weather events, though, do only take place at certain places on the map. Oh, hi. Another little buddy. Let's uh, let's break this cactus real quick. Heal up some of that water. And, um, oh, we gotta fix our axe. And, oh, there's our pick. I'm just gonna try and break it down. What level's this little fella? He's wagging his tail, too. What's well, a level 125? That would be really nice to have, but I feel like it would take forever. And the storm is coming, whatever storm. So let's just, we're gonna kill him, because being a high level, I would think he would give me some good EXP. Oh, he's not attacking me back. Maybe they attacked me earlier because there was a baby nearby. Maybe that's what happened. So I must have missed that baby because I didn't adopt none of them. All right, well, sorry. We uh, we killed ourselves a little uh, varmint today. And that's a lot of hide. 21? Jeez. Okay. I didn't expect to get that much. Maybe my settings are slightly too high. I didn't think so, though. Everything else seems to be pretty standard. I mean, I'm painfully getting fiber, so... Oh, I just... <laughs> I threw them on I before I even realized that I threw them, I picked them back up. These plants are ugly looking. They look like aloe vera plants, I think. Is that what those are? This this spot looks nice. I think we're going to call this home. We're going to lay this down here and lower it down to the ground because I really don't want to have to build a ramp. And, oh my gosh, I just accidentally ate some spoiled meat. That was unintentional. You know, because we're feeling a little bougie, we're not going to go for a simple one by one box. We're going to make it one by two. I hate feeling cramped. And no, I'm not claustrophobic. I don't know what it is, but in the game, the fact that I literally turn around and I just see walls everywhere, I don't like it. And uh, I think my buddy also deserves to have some space, you know? I don't want him crawling on my face when we're sleeping. Speaking of sleeping, we're over here building a shelter, and, uh, you know, the wind is crazy. It's getting wild. And uh, I don't think we ever built ourselves a sleeping bag, so... We're definitely going to be sitting this one out. Let's just hope nothing bad comes during the storm. Because, yeah, that could be, well, that could be bad. All right, let's make the last few essential things that we need here. Um, we don't have enough for the mortar and pestle. Let's just smash a rock and hope that it gives us enough. That way we can start working on the narcotics. We really don't have too many berries. We've got a crap ton of spoiled meat. But, uh, yeah, we want to use it while we can. Because the longer we wait to use it, the sooner it's going to go bad. And we don't want to waste nothing here in this desert because everything is essential. All right, we're getting a whole bunch of stone. I think stone. Oh, a little bit of flint, some more sand. And I don't, I'm wondering, is the same size rock on the island if you break it? Would you get twice as much stone? And, like, are you getting less on Scorch because the resources are split between stone and sand? Or are you getting the same amount of stone that you would already get, and then you're also getting sand on top of that? I don't know. That's a good question. Regardless... That's uh, not enough stone, so we're just going to go on in here because I don't want to be out here any longer than I need to. Let's make this a nice little door, and there's our ceiling. But we don't have a door. We have enough to build a door? Uh, we can only build the door. 
and our little piece of paper. So let's slap that door on here. Right on, that is perfect. Seriously? How the hell did that get in here? Was that already in here when I placed that wall up? I don't want this thing in here. What the heck? This thing's ugly. I mean, I could place it, but no, we're going to... Will the wind push it out even though it's closed on one side? Is that possible? Oh, wait. Hey, it's gone. No tumbleweeds in here. All right, let's uh, lay our stuff down here. A little fireplace. All right, there we go. All right, well, I think we're going to call it there. So uh, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. I would love your feedback, so please comment down below if you loved it. If you hated it, mix of both. Uh, I would love to hear it. And if you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing to see more art content.